Credit Repair, Fixing the Damage Caused by Debt Problems. Brought to you by YourLegalLegUp.com, your advantage if you are being sued by debt collectors. Every person with a debt problem also has a credit problem. In this video, we'll talk about how our Credit Repair Manual can help you get started on fixing yours. The Credit Repair Manual is a standalone product and also an important part of the Comprehensive Debt Solutions product. And that's because debt problems rarely come in ones. Rather, if one creditor or debt collector is suing you, others are probably threatening, while still others are quietly reporting bad news on you. Some people think that their only credit problem is their credit score, but it goes beyond that. The score is just a numerical summary of your report. People and companies will have that report and they'll look closely at them. And the report has, as we've pointed out before, all sorts of information on you. Each thing needs to be checked, challenged, and verified. Most people intuitively understand the importance of their credit reports, although it can be tempting to forget when you're being harassed by debt collectors. And we believe that you ever have every right to make your credit report as good as possible. It's really the only way you're going to make be able to move forward without constantly being penalized for things that you've done or even not done in the distant past. Over penalized, in fact. The question is really just how to do it, and we help with that. Credit repair is also different than uh, the other areas of de debt law that we've addressed, debt litigation and negotiation, most mostly because unlike those areas, performance comes in only a vaguely adversarial mode. You do the best you can because you'll overpay otherwise, but there's no real counterparty. That is, there's no party on the other side that has a direct financial interest uh, in doing what you don't want them to do or hurting you. Of course, they aren't really eager to do what you want them to do either. Instead, you'll have uh, a set of procedures and policies that are going against you in a sense that you may not really deserve their help. Now, there are laws that can help, however. As in debt collection, however, the other side expects you to be burdened by various feelings of guilt and other negative thoughts, things that will keep you from effectively enforcing your rights. Ignorance, too, is a big problem, right? They, on the other hand, feel perfectly free to do however little they can get away with. Instead of a single counterparty, anyway, there's a series of challenges. Pieces of bad information that you want to remove from your report. You want your credit report as a whole to contain as few negatives as possible. And there are systems you must work through and around to get what you want done. We help you navigate those systems. You'll win some and you'll lose some, and that's okay. You need a different mindset to do credit repair as opposed to debt litigation or negotiation. Those things tend to be kind of all or nothing affairs. Credit repair, on the other hand, is a sort of war of attrition. That means you fight on a bunch of issues and either wear them down on the whole thing or win enough parts of the war to do you a lot of good overall. You must be willing to look for different approaches and in different directions, different people or companies to try to start peeling away the bad information from your report. For example, if you have a debt that went unpaid and then to a debt collector, there's a good chance that both of them, the original creditor and the debt collector, are reporting the debt as delinquent. First check, is the debt being reported as assigned? Or are you getting two apparently independent bad items on your report? If so, you need to make sure your credit report shows that the debt was assigned. You do that by disputing the information. Otherwise, you're getting hit twice for the same news, but that's just a start. Second check, does the debt collector have the information it needs to verify the debt in the face of a dispute? And how do you do a dispute so as to maximize your chance of getting an item deleted? Those things are actually um, things you need to know. They're, separ they're tricks to the trade, I should say, and that's one place we come in. Once you get the debt collector to delete the item, what do you do about the original creditor? Can you get it to delete the information too? And how would you do that? These are simply techniques that you learn, and once you learn them, you can do them over and over. That's another reason we call it a war of attrition, because you keep doing the same thing over and over. You have a main source of rights in this area. It's the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the FCRA, which actually gives you a chance to get things done. And there are important ways the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, the FDCPA, can also help. In doing credit repair, it helps to know the way the different laws work together and separately, and that's another way we, help, we can help. Protect what's yours and don't let the debt collectors or credit reporters rip you off. YourLegalLegUp.com